Oh, okay, this is going to be a little hard. I got a mail call. I've already opened it because it's kind of hard to do. I already knew what it was. At least I was hoping I knew what it was. Oh, sorry, I'm coming back. But, uh... Wrong way. This phone's weird going this way. But anyway, I ordered this. I didn't have but like $40 left to my name. And I've been looking at this thing on eBay. Come on, zoom in, you pecker. It's 1 o'clock in the morning. I just I couldn't sleep. But anyway, it's a new sharpening thing. The things were like 75 bucks, and they finally got down. There were some for 24 that looked nice, and finally I seen this one for under 20 free shipping. Delivery Thursday, which it did say you'd, I'd get it by Friday, but uh, luckily it came in today, Tuesday. But uh, I, I didn't expect this. For uh, 1981 and free shipping, when I opened up the box, I'm like, well, this ain't right. And, uh, but, uh, yeah, it was. Hmm, what's that? Oh, that's a marker. Yeah, it's a, which, I don't know why there's a marker. I'll know once I get in there a little bit. But it's a knife sharpener with instruction manual. Well, good. But anyway, I mean, it comes in a case for 20 bucks, you know, but everything is, I mean, look at how, how, how packed it is. Wait till I tell Bob, of course, if I get something, Bob's got to get the better one, but, uh, <laughs> but for like 11 bucks, I was reading on here, whoop, oh, sorry, it's going to be a little noisy. She leave feedback right there. I could have bought this for another twelve dollars a six piece, which these are fifteen hundred grit, eight hundred, four hundred, and one hundred eighty, which is I mean good enough. Fifteen hundred grits is good enough for me. But this one here, it's a uh, hundred four or one hundred eighty four hundred. 800 then it's 2,000 a 1,500 and a 3,000 so it's an extra it's a 2,000 and a 3,000 so for 12.99 free shipping to be honest it's, it's probably going to be worth it that way I got the extra two and if one of these break so I don't know y'all let me know I mean uh Corey you know more about this stuff, you know, sharpening knives. I, need, I mean, I know I done got the other knife, and I'm kind of getting used to it. And I'm kind of not, but I needed a way to sharpen my, uh... I needed a way to sharpen my fillet knives and all that. And that's where I was having a problem. Because I can't sharpen a fillet knife with that thing that I bought. Ouch. Okay, and that's all the parts. But, uh, to be honest, yeah, I think, yeah, I might have to figure out how to put it together. It's, like I say, it's going to look like that when I'm done. Now, there's a lot bigger ones. There's uh, some huge ones, and uh, they're really nice, and they're not really much more expensive there's one for 24, man. It really looked nice. But see, this is mainly, it says for, uh, I guess, cutlery, uh, you know, cutlery knives. But I don't see why it won't work with a regular knife. I'm going to soon find out. I'm going to figure out how to put this all together tomorrow. And, uh, hold on a minute. And um, I'm definitely going to mess with it tomorrow. But I was going to wait till tomorrow to do this. 
which has got to be another, no, okay, no. That goes in there. See, one good thing about the bigger ones is it does have a, to where I can do the, the, the angle. So that's the only problem I'm going to have is, you know, figuring out the angle in here. Which, um, I'm just, oh, is that really a magnet? I bet it is. The knife butts up against that. That, okay, that slides up and down. No, nah, that's plastic. I guess the knife just leans up, lays up against it. Well, I'm definitely going to change it. I will put a magnet on there. Uh, I'll figure some way. Even if I've got to raise this up, because that's, that's a nut and a bolt. I can probably bring that up. But I do want to put a magnet on there. That way the knife sets. That way it's a lot easier. But, uh, yeah, Wolfpack, Corey, uh, I'm going to try to tag you in it or I'll let you know that I'm doing this. I want you to, I want you to look into this and see if you've ever, you know, seen anything like this or if you've ever tried one of these. But, um, I've been watching a lot of videos and they're just, you know, everybody's talking how good they are, but you know, it, it wasn't this type. It was a lot bigger, a lot better. I didn't want the one that suction cupped. I wanted one that bolted down. But I didn't have the money. It's just it was five extra dollars, and I didn't have it. I had forty dollars, and I had to put twenty in gas. It left me with a, like a dollar and something. And um, I bought a I bought one of them seventy nine cent drinks with it. But uh, yeah, I didn't know it come in the case. I thought that was really cool. But uh, yeah. Well, man, I wanted to show y'all something. My hatchet, but I'm gonna do that during the day tomorrow. This is already seven minutes. I swear, I just posted a nine-minute video and barely talked, and now here it is seven minutes. But, uh, yeah, y'all check that out. If y'all want to Google that, just, uh, Google six-piece, oh, sorry. Let's see. There we go. Professional kitchen sharpening knife. Sharpening system. Fixed angle with four stones. But if you just uh, Google knife sharpeners, they've got all kind of styles, which they've got them up to like 75 bucks, but there is some some nice ones. There's even one that I seen yesterday I was watching. It's $400, but it comes with this steel base that you set it on, and there's no moving it. You could do it with one hand. It's got the level. It even comes with a little leveler that you put on here. You zero it out, and then you put it up and put it like that, and it'll show the... It'll show the angle on there. It's friggin' really cool. But okay. I'm gonna go ahead and try to get some sleep. I'm hurting really bad. I, I, I don't know. It feels like I broke my friggin' arm or my shoulder. It happened about two weeks ago and it started feeling better. Now it... I think it's because I lay on my right side, but... It, honestly, it's hard to pick up my arm and all that. Just moving it. It feels like right there on the ball... Not on the top, but kind of the inside going towards my chest. It just it feels like it's a big bruise. It feels like somebody did that sucker punch and hit me in the shoulder, and that's what it feels like. I ain't felt like that. No, it's, I got hit awful hard the last time my shoulder felt like that. But, um, all right, I'll let y'all go. Uh, be ready. Tomorrow I got a, got a special video. Somebody blessed me. Oh, my God. It's It almost put a tear in my eyes, which it... I ain't gonna lie, it put a tear in my eyes. But uh, I'll let y'all know tomorrow as soon as the sun's up. Y'all have a good night and um, happy Thanksgiving early. Um, I know everybody's gonna be cooking tomorrow, but uh, I hope everybody has a great Thanksgiving. Um, oh, hey, I'm gonna do it again. Uh, Sammy Prepper Bushcraft. Oh man, what's she call herself? She changed her name. It's Sammy Prepper 
bushcraft nuts or is nuts. She took the Australia out. It had Australia, Australia the nuts. But anyway, Sammy Prepper Bushcraft is nuts. That's her channel. Go check her out. She's trying to get to 1,500 subs. She's doing real good. She's really getting up there. She does live feeds. She does, she does all kind of stuff. But really great lady. Y'all go check her out. Tell her uh, Danny sent you. Or Heath. She still calls me Heath. But uh, made no problem with that. I love the lady. But y'all have a good one. God bless.